Welcome to IF, videos on the unknown, the strange and the weird. We post videos every week, press that subscribe button and never miss a video again. Let me begin this video with a thank you. Thomas H has been the first in the comments many times and to show my gratitude this video is on a topic of his request. The legend of Greek fire. The ancient Greeks have been credited as the founders of western civilization and culture. They have been credited with giving us mathematics, philosophy and democracy. They also had a rich mythology. They used myth to teach people about gods, heroes, nature and their religion. The stories they told map the globe, tales of adventures and life's truths. From Achilles and Poseidon to Hercules and Athena, these stories have preserved the most entertaining parts of Greek history well into the present day. These myths and legends are still popular today, from blockbuster historical movies like Troy and the Clash of the Titans to modern reimaginings like the Percy Jackson series. This shows that people still have a fascination with the Greeks and the stories that they told. For as much as we know there is much that we do not. Many legends speak of not just mythical monsters but magical objects. These objects often woven into Greek heroic tales and this brings us to Greek fire. So what was Greek fire? It was a weapon used to defeat the enemies of the Byzantine Empire and repel invading hordes. A substance steeped in legend it was said to have been gifted to the Greeks by the god Prometheus. The mysterious liquid was shot from pipes mounted on ships and city walls. The would-be attackers were sprayed in this substance which ignited upon impact. It was said to even burn on water making the oceans boil. When these flames were doused with water in an attempt to stop the blaze it only grew larger engulfing more ships and causing massive devastation. This was a weapon of terror and quickly became legend. Any nation that wished to go to war with the Byzantine Empire knew they must face this ancient WMD. A more accurate definition of Greek fire is given by the ancient history encyclopedia. It says, an incendiary weapon first used in Byzantine warfare in 678 CE. The napalm of ancient warfare, the highly flammable liquid was made of secret ingredients and used both in catapulted incendiary bombs and sprayed under pressure so as to launch flames at enemy ships and fortifications. It was also used with success in defensive situations. Greek fire became the most devastating weapon of Christendom for over seven centuries and ensured that Constantinople resisted all comers. Emperor Romanos knew its value and declared three things must absolutely never reach foreign hands. The Byzantine imperial regalia, any royal princess and Greek fire. As it turned out the first two were on occasion bestowed on foreign rulers but never the third. So this ancient weapon of mass destruction was of such value its formula was one of the best kept secrets of that age. Even to this day we cannot be 100% sure of what or how it was made. Researchers believe that the ancient napalm was probably a combination of quicklime and naphtha or turpentine. Quicklime or calcium oxide is a white caustic alkaline crystalline solid at room temperature but upon coming in contact with water quicklime increases its temperature to above 150 degrees centigrade and can ignite fuel. On its own it is an effective weapon. Roman general Siraturus deployed choking clouds of caustic lime powder to defeat the Caratani of Hispania and Henry III used it to help the English navy destroy an invading French fleet by blinding them with the substance. Naphtha or turpentine is a hydrocarbon that is derived 
from crude oil. It is very similar to modern petroleum and has the same properties. It is an easily ignited fuel source that can burn at high temperatures and float on water. So how is this mixture used on the battlefield? It could be launched in containers, these containers being varying sizes from large jars fired from catapults to smaller handheld vials that would be thrown like modern hand grenades. But probably the most infamous weapons were the flame breathing beasts mounted on the Byzantine ships. These ships had metal sculptures of lions and other beasts on their prow. Made from a combination of iron and brass, Greek fire was pumped along tubes running into these sculpted heads. They then spewed the deadly concoction over the approaching force, a terrifying sight for anyone of that time, unnerving enemies and emphasizing the strength and the ferocity of the Greek fleet. The weapon acted like an ancient nuclear deterrent and thus was so secret the actual recipe has been lost. And as is with most weaponry, it was eventually surpassed by gunpowder. Gunpowder was widely adopted by all and Greek fire was confined to the annals of history. Once again, many thanks to Thomas H for suggesting this topic. And if you have an idea for a video, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more from the channel, hit that subscribe button. Catch us on social media. Thanks for watching. Until next time.